Let's face it. The last two years have been a total show. I talked to so many agents across the country and some people are having the best year ever and some people are having the worst year ever. What's the difference? You might be tempted to argue that it's your market, it's your laws, it's your lack of inventory and so on and so on. But I wanna challenge you a little and give you a little bit of tough love here and say that it might be your attitude. When you are constantly worried and scared and operating from a place of lack, you can't possibly show up in your business as the confident and successful professional that you are. So the very fact that you're afraid or depressed because your business is not doing well is the very reason why your business is not doing well. In my coaching community, we do a deep dive every month where we talk about one specific topic and we really dive into it. This month, we talked about setting yourself up for success when you are newly licensed, but we talked a lot about mindset on this call and that pertains to everyone, no matter how long you've been in business. There are three things that I personally do that may sound a little woo, a little spiritual, new agey, out there, just plain cray cray, depending on your opinion, but you cannot deny my results. This past year was the best year I have ever had in business, and I have now grown my team to eight licensed agents. I've got administrative staff, I've got managers, I've got virtual assistants, I have editors and a video workflow manager and coaches, and so much more. I was able to take my team on a retreat to a beach house on Hilton Head Island where we celebrated everyone's successes because 2021 was so amazing for us. And because the business is so successful, I'm able to pay all of these amazing people to help me run it, which makes the business more successful because now I am no longer the bottleneck. I am not the one person doing all of the work myself and running out of hours at the end of the day and still having more stuff to do the next day. So I just ask that you remain open-minded. Even if you think it's a little crazy, you think it's a little out there, why not just try it and see what happens? What have you got to lose? Let's watch this clip. So here are some of the things that I do. Affirmations. I found videos on YouTube that are subliminal affirmations. So this one that I put in there in the the thing, confidence, happiness, and motivation. It is 10 hours long and it's rain sound. So I have one of those little sleep masks and it has Bluetooth earbuds in the side. So you can sleep on it and you could sleep on the side and it feels just fine. And it plays the sound of rain. So all I hear is the sound of a thunderstorm, but somebody is speaking below it saying like, I am confident. I am motivated. I am successful, all these sort of things. And you really can't hear it because all you hear is the rain, but that's what the text below it is. And you sleep and listen to this and it just kind of soaks into your subconscious. And you know that if you say to yourself, I'm fat, oh, like I can't do this. Oh, the market is so hard. The more you say those things to yourself, the more you believe it. And then it's not that you believe it to be true. Like, you know, it as fact, you know, that it is true. You know that this market is extremely hard and I can't ever get my offers accepted. You know that because you say that to yourself over and over again until you believe it. Well, I know that Nicole on my team had 39 closings this year for $12 million. She's extremely successful. And that is our market is the same as yours. Like crazy multiple offers, but she is very successful in getting her offer accepted over all of the others. It's mindset. So if you can tell yourself the negative stuff and believe it, why don't we tell ourselves the good stuff and believe it? Why don't we say like, I'm freaking awesome and say it over and over again until we start to believe it. Tapping. I don't know if you've ever heard of tapping. This was definitely out there. The first time that I heard about this was like, what the heck? But it's basically following the principles of acupressure, while you're attending a coaching session or a therapy session. So if you were to Google any videos, Brad Yates is this big tapping guy on YouTube. You basically are tapping on acupressure points. So you tap on your face as you're saying things to yourself, and then you just keep doing this for like five or 10 minutes at a time. It definitely was weird. I'm not going to lie. The first time I saw somebody doing this was like, what the actual heck is happening here. But if you are very, very stressed out and you start doing one of these sessions, 
and it says, rate how you feel on a scale of one to 10, how stressed are you? And you're like, I'm in an eight. And then you finish the thing and it says, okay, rate on a scale of one to 10. How do you feel now? And you go, I'm at a three. Holy crap. It actually worked. I'm just about doing what works. If it works for you, go for it. I have heard many, many, many people say tapping changed my life. It's like a pattern interrupt. So if you're a person that starts to spiral, like you start to have like, oh my God, there's not enough time. I don't have enough time to get all this stuff done. And you start going down this negative spiral of stressing out that you don't have enough time. You stop and you do this. It's like a pattern interrupt. And it starts to train your brain that when I feel stressed because I don't have enough time, I'm going to train my brain to think in a different way. And eventually that's your immediate response. Instead of the negative spiral, you start to think that instead. And then journaling, gosh, I just love journaling. I was never a big journaler before until just the last couple of years. And I love to write in my journal as though it has already happened. So if my goal was to make $500,000 this year, I would write in my journal. I am so grateful that I had my first $500,000 year. Thank you so much for my first $500,000 year. And I write it down every day. If I can, I don't always remember every day. I heard somebody, I can't remember who gets a uh, credit for this quote, but what's the difference between a millionaire and a billionaire, a billionaire writes their goals down twice a day. The millionaire writes his goals down once a day. So if you can do it first thing in the morning and then maybe do it again, right before you go to bed, it doesn't have to be a page. It can literally be one or two sentences. I am so happy that I had my first $500,000 a year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then you go to bed. And that's kind of what's in your mind. And that's what you think about overnight. And then you're listening to these positive affirmations. Like, I'm, I'm just going to tell you that I had the best year I've ever had in my entire life in 2021. And my goals for 2022 scare the pants off of me to, to even think that I could have a career that big is ridiculously terrifying. And so I write it down every day as though it's already happened. And like I'm going for it in 2022. I hope that I actually meet those goals and I have utmost faith that I will because the goal for 2021 was terrifying and I made it. The goal for 2020 was terrifying and I made it. The goal for 2019 was terrifying and I made it. Every time you set the goal and you reach it, now you have evidence in your brain that, oh my God, I actually did it. Like I, I actually did it. Who thought that was possible? So now when you set the next big goal, it's almost like, well, I did that one and I did that one and I did that one. So why can't I do this one? I don't know. I just like this stuff. I find that the, the more I get into the like woo mindset part of it, the more it actually works. And then I don't care if people think I'm crazy because I have a seven figure business. That's all I got to say about that. So this was a lovely quote that Lindsay put in here. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. It's very easy to look at like right now, what is happening? Big fat, nothing. I suck. Ah! Don't look at it that way. Don't look at what is happening right now. You have to know that every video that you make is a seed that you are planting that will have future results. If it doesn't produce right now, it's okay. It usually doesn't. Not a lot of seeds that I know of where you plant it and tomorrow you're harvesting. You plant it, it's going to take a while before you harvest, but it absolutely can. And that seed can turn into a tree that's 150 feet tall, and it can turn into an entire forest if you keep planting more and more seeds. Okay, I'm kind of going crazy with this analogy, but you know where I'm going with that. So Try not to be too hard on yourself. If you don't see immediate results, it's okay. Every single step that you take is advancing you further toward your goal. Making a vision board is a huge part of my process. So join me in this video right here. We're going to make a vision board in Canva so that you can see your goals every single day and you'll be amazed when they all start to come true. Ready? Let's do this.